This video is based on the clinical report by J. Friedman, a retired general dentist and consultant, published in September 2007 on the American Journal of Public Health. Read the full article through the link below this video. Modern dentistry has its root in the Roman Greek pharmacia, the Roman Greek witchcraft. Each year, 5 million Americans spent $3 billion to remove their pathology-free wisdom teeth. Over 11,000 Americans are suffering from permanent paresthesia, numbness of the lip, tongue, and cheek as a consequence of nerve injury during the wisdom teeth removal surgery. At least two-thirds of these extractions, associated costs, and injuries are unnecessary. Take a look at the lying myths invented by greedy dentists to mind control us for their profit. Myth number one, wisdom teeth have a higher incidence of pathology. The fact is, less than 12% of impacted teeth have associated pathology. Myth number two, removal of all wisdom teeth in adolescence is less traumatic. The fact is, early removal is more traumatic and painful than leaving a symptomatic, non-pathologic teeth in situ. Persons of 35 to 83 years old have the lowest complication risk. Myth number 3. Pressure of erupting wisdom teeth causes crowding of anterior teeth. The fact is, it is impossible for lower wisdom teeth which develop in the spongy interior cancerous tissue of bone with no firm support to push 14 other teeth with roots implanted vertically like the pegs of a picket fence so that the incisors in the middle twist and overlap. Myth number 4. The risk of pathology in impacted wisdom teeth increases with age. The fact is a study of more than 1,756 patients who had retained more than 2,000 mandibular impactions for an average of 27 years period found that only 0.81% experienced cystic formation. Myth number 5. There is little risk of harm in early removal of wisdom teeth. The fact is. Over 11,000 Americans are suffering from permanent paresthesia, numbness of the lip, tongue, and cheek as a consequence of nerve injury during the wisdom teeth removal surgery. The following clips will show you how they mind control you with fear and fake science. For money, a root of all kinds of evil. Hi, this is Dr. Drew. My experience has been that uh, most always wisdom teeth cause uh, more problems than they do good when they're left in the mouth. Um, especially if there's some form of uh, impaction of the wisdom tooth and it's not coming in correctly because it's uh, trapped by another tooth that can often cause damage to another tooth. Um, also, uh, the wisdom teeth sometimes will just partially come in. A couple of the cusps or the points of the tooth will pop through the gums, but the tooth will never come in all the way. And uh, that will uh, often cause infection because bacteria that's in all of our mouth can get down around uh, that wisdom tooth. And uh, it's very difficult to clean that area. And so, you know, significant infection can result from that. Um, also, even when wisdom teeth do come in all the way, uh, they're very far back there. And we find that a lot of patients have a hard time uh, keeping them clean and maintaining them. And so down the road, they're constantly having uh, uh, fillings to their wisdom teeth um, if they can be reached um, in, the, in the area where the decay is. Uh, and sometimes end up having to have them taken out uh, later in life because they have become so decayed and they've abscessed or they're non-repairable. Um, so I'm of the opinion that, uh, you know, usually it's a good idea to have wisdom teeth removed at a, at a young age. For most people, there's just not enough room at the back of the mouth for the wisdom teeth to come in to become useful and productive members of society. There's just no way that those wisdom teeth are going to come in properly. 
For most people, it makes the best sense to have those teeth taken out. Wisdom teeth can start causing problems with infections, pain, and discomfort in the teens or later. Now, in some cases, the wisdom teeth will just sit there, causing no problems, until they do. And no one knows when they will start to cause problems. You might think that if it ain't broken, you're not going to fix it. That can make good sense until a wisdom tooth does start really bothering you. And now you have to schedule a removal when you're busy at school, starting a new job, or getting married. Wisdom teeth are the third molars, so they're the last teeth to form and the last teeth to come into the mouth. And generally there's not enough room in the dental arches uh, for the wisdom teeth, so they get stuck either under the gum or bone, uh, which is called impacted wisdom teeth. Impacted wisdom teeth can become problematic because they can cause damage to the adjacent teeth in terms of uh, uh, trapping food and causing decay either in the wisdom teeth or in the uh, back side of the second molar teeth. They can also lead to periodontal pocketing in that region. Uh, there's some incidents of causing dental crowding as these teeth uh, are often in an abnormal position and they can put other forces on other teeth. Um, generally the symptoms um, that people have associated with wisdom teeth are some pain and swelling in the, in the region. Um, and uh, usually these are self-limited infections, although they can become quite troublesome at times. Your wisdom teeth grew out perfectly. Your other teeth are glad they are around to help out with the chewing. And you won't need an expensive, painful, risky surgery to remove them. The British National Institute for Clinical Excellence recommend this. The practice of prophylactic removal of pathology-free impacted third molars should be discontinued. There is no reliable evidence to support a health benefit to patients from the prophylactic removal of pathology-free impacted teeth. Don't fall victim to those heartless greedy dentists. Keep your wisdom teeth. Keep your wisdom. Here is the best health tip. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones.